Hey guys, Andy here from Mediocre Hobbies bringing you another part of the Legion playlist. So one of the previous comment made a suggestion that I should probably get started with some of the uh, black power armored miniatures as I was coming close to the end of the playlist and I hadn't done any yet which means the last few are all going to be black power armored so I took a suggestion on board and decided to start uh, cracking away on those. So we're going to start with this, the first one today which is going to be the iron hands. So I've gone for a metallic black um, with kind of a tint of green to it, which I think um, the Iron Hand has in most of their artwork and stuff like that. So that's very important to me is that um, the Iron Hand, the Dark Angel and the Raven Guard all have very distinctive looking armor colors. They're not just all going to be flat black, so they, they will look different on the battlefield. So let's see if I manage to pull that off and let's get into painting. Okay guys, it's time for the Iron Hands. These are uh, metallic schemes where I use contrast over metallics and I don't do any layering. They are just so absolutely stunningly fast to paint. And if you're someone who wants to get involved in the Horus Heresy, but isn't particularly drawn to any one legion, but you just want to get an army on the table really quickly just to get involved and play some games, then maybe consider one of these. Cause you can knock out a 1500 point, 2000 point army in a weekend with a scheme like this. So the first thing I did was, of course, spray out Lead Belcher, but as we've talked about before, Lead Belcher is hydrophobic, so that means the contrast and stuff doesn't stick to it very well. So I went back over with a brush and I painted on Lead Belcher once again, just to create a really nice coat of paint on the miniature, so that when I went to the Black Templar contrast I'm working with right now and apply it, it sticks to that metallic coat really, really well, gives you an absolutely stunning, smooth, nice, firm coat across the entire miniature. If you don't know what the hydrophobic means or anything like that, basically it means that the surface tension of the paint is just so smooth. Sorry, the paint is so smooth that the surface tension doesn't hold. So when you put the contrast black on it, it just starts to pull back over on itself. It's super irritating, um, super frustrating, and super hard to fix after you've already applied contrast. So taking these uh, quick steps just to put a quick coat of silver over with a brush um, will help you out immensely. Once it's applied, this is what one coat of Black Templar across the metallic looks like. I think it looks fantastic. Next, we're gonna go over to the Black Templar, sorry, the Lead Belcher paint again. And this is where we're going to paint all of the trim back into the miniature. So obviously I've made a mess of his shoulder trim and stuff like that. So I'm gonna Lead Belcher back in those, making it nice and neat and tidy. Any other metallic parts of the miniature that need to be painted, I'll also do at this stage, such as the piping on the back of his backpack and all the other parts of the bolt gun. This part here is actually, it's basically the trim of the miniature. So depending on what kind of armor, armor you're painting, you can add as much or as little silver as you want. So for instance, if you're doing Terminators, you might want to go the extra mile and do all the trim on the miniature with silver to make them really pop or characters or something like that. But then when it comes to something as simple as an infantryman, a lion space marine, then maybe just uh, the shoulder trim and the, uh, the ringlet over his eyes on his helmet is what I would personally go for. I know you guys have uh, one of my favorite things to do when making videos is to ask you guys at what point in the video you started to scream, thinking about what the hell am I doing? Uh, and then thinking if I pulled off the scheme at the end of the video. And uh, most of the time people have been like, yes, I didn't think this was gonna turn out well, but then it did turn out. This is one of those uh, schemes where even I wasn't too sure about what was gonna happen towards the end of it. But when I was finished, I was super pleased with the result. Um, and I would be happy to uh, do an Iron Hands army in this scheme. Uh, so we're going to do a bit of Celestial Grey for the bolt gun casing of this miniature. Um, I like that uh, dark of schemes like this have this pop of bright color. Um, otherwise, it would be an extremely dark miniature. Now, in my research on this, I couldn't figure out whether the white bolt gun casings came from 40k or 30k. Some people had done them in black and some people had done them in red and some people had done them in the white. I went for the white, uh, sorry, off-white color scheme to, uh, to like add that pop of color. Next. This is the bit that I think people might scream at. I'm going for a Colia green shade all over the entire miniature. That's like a turquoisey green um, shade. And people are gonna be wondering what the hell's going on. But I always felt that the Iron Hands had that tint of uh, light green or dark green in the, in the metallics themselves. Like I said at the start of this video, I want you to be able to put a uh, Raven Guard, um, an Iron Hand um, and a Dark Angel next to each other in my schemes and them to look completely different and feel, in my opinion, the way they should feel. And um, I feel this definitely has the Iron Hands feel to it. 
Um, so I'm going to wait for this shade to dry, get the miniature a base stop, and then we're going to get on with the very limited amount of layering that we're going to do for this miniature. Okay guys, while the uh, shades and stuff are drying and we're getting the miniature based up, I just want to thank you guys for the continued support from me and the 365 Project. If you're enjoying the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you like what I do on the channel and want to see more of it, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell just to be notified on all future videos. If you like what I do even more than that and want to contribute to me and the channel even further, there's things like my Patreon uh, below. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's get back to painting. So I love the sheen of the armor on this miniature as I rotate it around. It's definitely not just a boring flat black color. It definitely screams iron hands to me. So now it's time to start layering up those bits and pieces. As goes the black armor itself, I'm not touching that again. I consider this to be completed. I think that the, the effect looks fantastic and I wouldn't go and mess it up by, by adding any extra color to it, by layering it up. You could weather it a bit, Add a few stipples of silver on to add some chip damage to the model that would look really good i was tempted to do that but i've done it on so many of the uh the other models in the playlist already that i think people might be getting sick and tired of me just stabbing miniatures with a a uh, foam stick at the end of every painting job but i think it looks really good um so like i said we're on the lead belcher stage and all we're going to do is layer up all those metallic bits that we hit with the lead belcher before so the shoulder trim those bits in the backpack the bolt gun parts i also did the eye lenses because I'm gonna go with a contrast later on, just add that nice bit of color to the uh, eye lenses. Before we get to that, we're gonna go back to Celestial Gray and layer up the bolt gun uh, casing. Obviously, this is the second coat of Celestial Gray, so this goes on much smoother, a really nice, neat and tidy coat. And like I said, adds this beautiful pop of color to the center of a, a really dark model. And I think this helps across basically the entire Iron Hands range. People do the armor covering on top of uh, weapons on tanks with this nice white or um, the shoulder joints of dreadnoughts who are carrying the weapons in the iron. I think that it super helps the, the, uh, the look of the army. Otherwise it would be super dull and super dark. Um, and in my opinion, a little bit more um, dull. So this is those bits done with the celestial gray. We're gonna throw that Talazar blue like I was talking about into the uh, eye lenses to make them pop. It's always interesting as to what color I'm going to pick for the eye lenses. I tend to once again refer back to the artwork. It's really hard to find what color Iron Hands eye lenses were. Uh, because it's such a dark scheme, you could go for red or blue or orange or yellow, or it doesn't really matter. It'll all, it'll all pop against such a dark scheme. And here he is after I've applied some Iron Hands transfers. And I personally would call this miniature complete. I think a squad of this 20 man strong sitting in the middle of the table would actually look fantastic. I hope you guys feel the same way. I think I did a pretty good job on getting um, the feel of an Iron Hands line trooper um, down. If you guys have thought this, feel the same way, make sure that you give the video a like. If you have any questions about anything that I did here today, make sure you drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to each and every one of you. I would like to know if you guys got to that stage when I got the color green shit out that you started to scream inside. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.